Hello viewers, welcome to the second part of this video. In the first part, I discussed 10 questions that were asked in 2022. And the questions was, you can see in the screen. The first question that I was discussed that how are you doing? If VC officer asks you how are you doing, then you should answer I am well and you. Like this, I have discussed till 10 number questions. Today, I will start from 11. And let me more tell you that the most important questions between that 10 questions was how many universities have you applied to? Do you know anyone in Italy? And why do you think you should be granted to Schengen visa? If you want to get visa, then you should answer these questions properly to visa officer because you have to convince him so that you can get visa. If you can't convince him, they, he will not allow you to come to Italy. So, you have to prepare yourself for these questions. And I am assuring you, you have these questions only to prepare. You will, come on, you will get common these questions and you have to answer properly so that at least you can get visa. Now, let me discuss from answer 11. Where do your parents live and what do they do for a living? As you are showing that your sponsor is your father or mother, so you have to answer properly that what they do for their living because you, you can't convince him that they have proper amount to bear your expenses, then the visa officer won't allow you to get visa. So, you can answer like that. My parents live in the location of your house, whatever your parents do, and then you have to tell what is your mother's do, what is your father's do for living. Then, the 12th number question is, have you purchased travel medical insurance? Obviously, if you want to get visa, then your first requirement will be you have to purchase the travel medical insurance for one year because this is mandatory for getting visa in Italy. Then, can you give me a short description of Varsili? That is the question. If you are uh, applying for Naples, I mean, if you are applying for Federico or Parthenon, then you have to tell about Naples. That means these questions vary for everyone. You have to prepare about the short descriptions of that city you have get admitted to. If you are in Federico, then you have to uh, take a short description about Naples. If you have admitted in any university near Rome, then you have to take short description about Rome like this. I have uh, given you some examples of this city. As you are applying for different cities, so you have to prepare these questions yourself. Now, the 14 number question is tell me the names of the five subjects of your course plan. As you are in different course plans for everybody, so you have to mention the subjects of your own course plan here. Tell me the names of the five subjects of your previous course plan. That means if you are in master's program, then you have to tell about the course program that you have completed in bachelor's. Why Italy? Why not other country? This is the most important question because as you are uh, merely interested in Italy, so you should tell something unique to the visa officer so that he can get interest that yes, you are interested in Italy. That's why you know so much. You can tell like that. I want to go there to pursue my master's degree. Italy is a most popular and global recognized country in the world. The research and education system in Italy is well developed in the world. That's why many international students come here to acquire knowledge and develop their brain. Because of the ample research facilities and global exposure available there, that's why I want to go to Italy. This should be different for everyone. Because you have to research about Italy and you have to point out some unique portions so that visa officer are interested in you. Okay. The 17 number question is what is your university name? That will be different for everyone. You will tell just whichever university you get admitted. 
why you chosen this university why not other university i have already tell you how to answer these questions if you are not able to answer then please see the part 1 video what is your subject name why you choose this subject i have already tell you about this broadly in cover letter part if you are not seen that video please go to the cover letter part video and i have explained naturally there how can you explain these questions okay do you have any relatives in italy you will obviously tell that if you are applying for a student visa then you should not expose to visa officer that you have any relatives because if the visa officer suspects that you have relatives and you want to uh, stay there permanently then he won't allow you to get visa thank you for watching this video in the next part i will again discuss the next 10 questions please see the part 1 video so that you can know the follow flow of these questions Thank you so much hopefully this will help you to get visa and pass the interview